see these branches that have been pruned? Um, you see how the center is red and the edge is yellow or, or tan? That, that edge is called sapwood. The center is called heartwood. Most trees will have a much darker center of the wood and they'll have two to a hundred rings of sapwood around it. The heartwood is colored, the sapwood is lighter color, typically yellow or white. Um, they have vastly different properties, they have vastly different purposes. We're going to talk about why a tree forms sapwood and why it has a center of heartwood. It's not random, it's not meaningless. There's a purpose for the tree and there's an implication for the woodworker. But I just want you to get this as an introduction, get a glimpse at that, is that usually when you cut down a tree, some amount of the tree in the center will be dark, it'll be black if it's black walnut, it'll be green if it's tulip tree, um, it'll be all different colors depending on the tree. If it's white oak, it'll just be white. If it's red oak, the heartwood will be red. Um, but we're, we're going to talk about heartwood and sapwood. That's one of the first delineations to make. When you're looking at a tree, where is the wood? Because the tree is not all wood. It's got outer bark, it's got inner bark. Both of those are useful. Inner bark is what's being used right now to weave the seats for the chairs that they're making. Um, inner bark is a harvestable, useful material. And then you have wood. What's the difference between wood and the inner bark? What functions do they serve? These are questions we're going to answer when we go inside.